going through, that don't identify with their homeland situation, that don't identify with their challenges and goals, and one of the specific hurdles that they're going to have to experience as human beings in order to achieve those goals. You're just teaching curriculum. You're not teaching them the actual skills that are necessary for them to be able to achieve those goals and to be able to become a professional and then in turn give back to that community. I think we have to look at context, right? Connecticut has a race problem. And until you address race, until you address quality, until you address value, until you address environment, we are just having a conversation, right? I believe districts that want diversity get diversity. I believe communities that embrace diversity get diversity. Um, as a first year teacher, um, and as a medium student all of my life, it's full circle. So the same things that are preventing us from going to college are the same things that are preventing us from becoming, coming back to become a teacher. Whether it's about middle level certification or, or changing certification to get more opportunities so we can hire the right people, those are real issues. It is also a community issue. Like, this should be something that um, Caucasian students, Asian students, we should all be looking for diversity. I can't say that any parent has ever said to me, we don't have enough people of color in the classroom. And our students may model, but again, I think if parents speak up more and advocate more, I think the superintendent, you know, would definitely realize that this is something that we need to do.